This video is about to be so freaking chaotic and... Hey guys, good morning, bonjour, comment ça va, how are you? My name is Happy Black Legends, thank you so much for clicking on another one of my videos. Today I will be taking you guys with me to the Dollar Tree. A few moments later. Y'all, today, this video is about to be so freaking chaotic and, I don't know, do you guys, let me know, but glasses on, it's kind of creepy because it looks like like, I don't know, glasses off, you can see my, like, face, but I can't see, so let me know if you prefer glasses on, but it's, like, reflective and distracting, maybe it isn't, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm literally freaking out right now. Today, this video was supposed to be titled, to, like, going, going grocery store shop, like, an anorexic goes grocery store shopping at the Dollar Tree, like, like, safe food haul, um, like low high restriction day low calorie day like see what i eat meal plan like it was supposed to be very like whatever now it's about to be like i don't even know it's just gonna be like a mess but today was supposed to be a high restriction day and i don't even care because i'm literally so anxious right now and i just need to like talk i haven't even put the groceries away yet i'm just i cannot believe what just happened to me so we're gonna be eating these chips i almost put these chips back because i knew that i can eat this entire bag by itself the entire bag is only 350 calories, which isn't, it's really not that bad, but it's not like, you know, I don't know, it just freaks me out. So, I walk everywhere. I can't drive. I don't like driving. Driving gives me anxiety, and I really like to walk, so I don't mind walking everywhere, and, and everything I need is near me. So, I was walking home. The thing was, though, today, I, I hadn't eaten yet, and right now it's like 10.30, and yesterday I, I ate, like, pretty little, too, so I was feeling like, really tired, and, like, I was dragging my cart, and it was really heavy because it's full of groceries. Sorry, I need to calm down right now. Y'all don't even know, but... And as I was walking, I was like, oh, I'm so tired, like, I kind of want to take the bus, because I, I have a bus pass, and I... And I used, on the other side of the street, the other bus had just passed, so I knew that my bus going to the direction of my house was going to be coming soon. So I was standing at the bus stop, and I was like, oh, should I, should I, like, take the bus? And then I was like, nah, like, my eating disorder was like, nah, you should, you should walk and burn those calories off. And I was like, you know what, yeah, I like walking, I'm only like 10 minutes away from home, might as well. You guys. A second, like, it all happened so fast. I was walking up, 
I stop because I hear screeching. I stop, I turn and look behind me like, what the fuck was that? This red, like, I'm gonna move my glasses, sorry, I've decided. This red, like, truck, I'm gonna put it, flipped over and crashed into the bus stop I was just standing at. I screamed so loud and then I just started walking towards back towards the accident. I'm gonna put pictures and things right here. The, the bench is crunched. It's cru crunched, <laughs> the, crushed. That's literally like the bus stop that I'm like, it's like I always take that bus. Like I always take that bus and that like freaked me out. Like I'm, I'm calmed down now. I took some, those were anxiety pills I took. And I took my inhaler because I was almost having a panic attack. I cannot believe, like, what just happened. And the guy in the red truck, his car almost flipped over. It didn't. Thank, I don't know how it didn't flip over. Had it flipped over, it would have gone into the houses on the other side of this, like, brick wall. Like, I, I'll just put in the picture right here, but I don't know if you can see, like, from the pictures. I really don't know. But, like, there's a brick wall, and on the other side, those are, like, condo house, townhouse, whatever. The guy in the car was like this like 70 year, year old black guy. He was so nice. His airbags were deployed, fam. Like I just I could not I just could not believe. And he was like, thank God you didn't take the bus. Like I would have been dead. Like I don't think I would have gotten up and knowing me, I probably would have just sat there like in stunned silence. His car was leaking. I thought it was oil for a second, but someone else was like, no, it's water. And I was like, okay, I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> like but I'm literally shaking and like that guy was and then the other guy and the, it was totally the black car's fault like the other car um it was totally this car's fault he turned without looking like he just didn't see him and then the guy was like dude I don't have a license and I was like what in the judge Judy TV court judge Brown mess what Jesus Christ like that was really freaking scary um but I don't know I'm gonna just try to chill for like a couple all my like groceries all my frozen vegetables are like thawing out like I I need to go get my groceries away but I really need to like calm down and like bring my do some grounding techniques because that like fucked me up honestly okay what we not gonna do is talk about the mess my room, aka the depression dungeon, hasn't been cleaned in so long. That's a goal for today, so I'm really going to try to get that done. But I still haven't put the groceries away. They're like, just food, just cooking up bacteria <laughs> to go and like do it. I'm just like really, it, I like, not to be all like depression, depression, Wow, not to be all, like, depression in the group chat or anything, but, like, I spent, like, years genuinely wanting to die. And, like, I don't want to die. Like, I want to get better from anorexia. Like, I mean, it's kind of also weird, though, because had I not listened to my eating disorder and decided to take a break, like, I'm just... Like, it's such an a catch-22, like, freaking out. Like, I'm still, like, thinking about it. I don't... No one cares, I know, but... You, well, you clicked on the video, so you do care, but... I just feel, like, like, spazzed out right now. Like, I feel, like, just really anxious. And it was just crazy that it happened, like, so fast. Like, I made the decision. I turned around and started walking. I wasn't even down the block. Like, ten seconds later, I hear, like, screeching. I turn around, and the car flips over. Like, that all happened in under a minute. And... Oh my god, it was just intense. And there was, like, even a helicopter flying over. It was just crazy. Please pray for that man, you guys. Pray for everyone involved. If you don't pray, send good vibes. If you pray to Allah, Buddha, Jehovah, whoever. I don't think I said that correctly, but whoever, whomstever you pray to, just pray for those people, because that was, like, that was one of the worst accidents I've ever seen in my life, hands down. <laughs>
it's finally kicked in. Um, so I'm going to start putting some of my stuff away. I'm going to show you guys the frozen stuff first. But basically, so first of all, you guys saw veggies are like, I love veggies. Um, so I got some peppers, stir fries. I got these. Um, it's like onion and bell pepper. I just love to grill these and I, just, I throw them on everything, my eggs and whatnot. So people don't know, the Dollar Tree sells eggs. I'm not going to lie, it's hit or miss with the eggs. You just got to examine, examine, examine. Um, and then I get turkey bacon. So I don't eat pork. That's not an eating disorder thing. I just don't like pork. Um, my mom actually made all of us give it up for religious reasons. Um, and then like when I tried to eat it again a couple years later, I thought it was repulsive. So I just don't eat pork. Rice cauliflower is one of my favorite veggies, but rice cauliflower, I'm honestly considering making um, pizza again. I'm, I've made um, cauliflower pizza once and I've been craving pizza. But either way, I cauliflower rice is just so good. You can eat so much of it, and it's so low cal. And then I got these green beans. I love green beans. I got some corn. I use corn for everything. Corn has tons of fiber, so if you're constipated, don't take lax. Eat some corn. Make some mosquitos. That was the worst Spanish. Um, perdón. <laughs> Miami's daily traffic. These are turkey burgers. Um, so growing up, honestly, my mom kind of, like, we only cooked with, like, ground turkey. Like, we rarely, when we, when my mom did use beef, it was, like, beef roasts or, like, beef stews. It was never really, like, steak or anything like that. So, um, I'm used to turkey burgers. I've never had a dry turkey burger until I was at some diner in Oregon, and that was the first time I'd ever heard people not liking turkey burgers because they're dry. If you know what you're doing, um, you just gotta keep the fire low because turkeys, it, they can dry out fast, but that should not be happening. Um, and then yeah, so that's all the frozen cold stuff I got. So I'm gonna go put that stuff in the fridge and then I'll be right back. I'm a whole liar. I forgot to show you guys. So I know you guys saw me grab the shrimp earlier and you're probably like, girl, what? They have shrimp at my Dollar Tree. Now, there have been some things I've gotten from the Dollar Tree that were a no-go. I've eaten this shrimp multiple times and nothing's happened. Um, shrimp is really low calorie too, and I really like that you can kind of eat it with anything. So if you're adventurous and if you're down to clown I would, and you're on a budget, I would say get some shrimp from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got all of this stuff. All of it I got for just um, like 30 something bucks. I'll show you guys the receipt. I have the receipts. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff I have. Like you'll see the contrast between frozen goods that I buy and then like everything else. Um, so I got these. Now I've been drinking these for years before my eating disorder. My mom likes these a lot, so we used to get a ton of them. I, okay, so I just realized. I guess it depends on the flavor. I thought that they all were five calories. This one that I had, the orange mango one, was zero calories. So I got this one too thinking it was zero calories and it's five calories, which is, I'm being a little bitch, like I'm being a bitch, but I was gonna say, I was really excited to find out that these are zero calories because now they'll be like safe, but um, these are still really good, and five calories is it, that's still great, and they're really good. Um, but yeah, they're not zero calorie. Well, some of them are, some of them aren't. So you just gotta read the label. And then I also got some Diet Shasta because I have been spending so much money on Diet Coke, and like I joked in the other video, I don't like to give my money to Coke. So, um, and then these are some craisins. I freaking I love cranberries. Growing up. Um, during Thanksgiving, I would just eat cranberry sauce. And I remember this is kind of like a funny tidbit. This is back when I used to live in New York, and I think she was, I think she was Jewish, but she had this thick, like, New York, like, grandma accent. I was getting what I thought was cranberry sauce. And she was like, oh, wow, it's so nice to see kids enjoying vegetables. That's so great. And I was like, I was like, cranberries are a fruit, but okay. And she didn't say anything. And then when I sat down at the, it was a buffet, and I sat down, I take a big spoonful and I put it in my mouth, 
the emotional scarring that occurred. Like, I was expecting sweet cranberry sauce and I got, like, disgusting shroot farm mess. DISGUSTING! I haven't even tried beets ever since because that, like, literally freaked me out. I got some almonds. You guys just shook, sorry. But I got some almonds. I love and I hate nuts. I love and I hate nuts. It's like, how can you be so good and just so... I'm, I'm, I love them, but I'm also a little bit afraid of them because they're high in fat, which you need fat. You need fat. Fat isn't bad, but I'm afraid of fat. But fat's not bad, and I know that. I know that, but I'm afraid of it. Um, and they're just usually higher in calories, but they're so freaking good. And, like, the nutrients that you get from nuts totally outweighs the calorie intake, and I know that, but it's still, like, kind of freaks me out. I also got some... Frosted Flakes! I love Frosted Flakes. I love Frosted Flakes and Corn Flakes. I love them. I just think they're so simple and good. And then these are some Nature Valley Bars. These are, I love these. They're only 190 calories per two bars. And I love to crunch them up and make cereal out of it. I love to just, I just think they're really good. So these, these, these are my favorite. Um, but at the same time, I try not to buy boxes of them because I can just binge on an entire box, so. Mission failed! We'll get them next time. I love them, but I'm also terrified. And baby food? Can I just talk about baby food in the group chat, please? I love baby food. I love baby food. It's so low calorie. I love it. It contains like so many vitamins and nutrients, and it's just, it's amazing. And as you slurp it up, it's just fun. I have spent like 20, 30 bucks on baby food for like really bad diets I was doing. And I'm waiting for the day where cashier is like, oh, like, how old's your baby? How old's your little one? And then I can be like, me. I'm baby. This is the last food item I got. I never buy canned vegetables, but I've been craving carrots. And the Dollar Tree, they sell this veg veggie mix called California mix, and I almost bought it, but I put it back because there's rarely enough carrots in it. So I thought, okay, I'll buy these, and then I'll just, if you rinse the broth off, if you just let it rinse and strain, it removes all that, like, salty sodium flavor. I don't know, I'm assuming it, it actually does lessen the sodium intake, but I'm not a scientist, and I'm also assuming, well, not all of it, but maybe some of it. I don't really care too much about macros, to be honest. I don't like salty things. Well, no. I like salty things, but I don't like too salty. And that's not even an eating disorder thing, that's just a taste bud thing. So th that's why I was kind of like hesitant to buy these, but I, I really want carrots, but I'm too afraid to go to the grocery store. Hey guys, so I just got done putting everything away and I'm gonna try to edit this video, so hopefully it's up. I feel a lot better. Like honestly, I'm, I'm not like on the verge of like panicking. But, I don't know, that just, like, really freaked me out. And it just, it blew me away that, like, I almost I almost chose to sit. But my eating sort was like, no, I'll walk. And then I did. And then, but, like, had I been, like, oh, fuck my eating disorder and shit, I totally could have gotten hit. My house manager told me that she thinks I should have, like, stayed and given a statement, but... Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. I don't like dealing with cops. And then I asked him, I was like, sir, are you okay? Like, do you want me to, do you want me to stay? Like, are you fine? Because he was, I'm going to just say it, he was a black guy. And I was like, I'm not going to leave him out here. Like, he's an old man. He's an old black guy. Like, I'm not going to just leave. And he was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I was like, and as I was walking away, I heard him tell the EMTs he didn't want to go to the hospital. And I was just like, dude, I think, I honestly think he was really embarrassed. And I think he had, like, a lot of pride. But it wasn't even his fault. It was, like, and the fact that the guy driving the black car doesn't have a license, like, and I heard him say that. I don't know if you realize that. I heard him say that. He literally said, I don't have a license. And the elderly black guy was like, well, what are you going to do? Because you better stay here. You better be here when the police comes. That's what he said. And I was like, oh, dude, I have pictures. I have, so you're good, I, you know. But that was just crazy. And I told him, like, I thought you were going to flip over. And he was like, you thought I was going to flip over? He said, 
I just felt my car tilt, and I thought I was going to go down. And I was just like, dude, like... But anyways, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry for the chaotic vibes. Honestly, I'm not sorry. That is that is my brand. And if you can't handle it, you're going to have to leave now. This is my Betty Boot pillow. I love me some boop. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so... That was that, that was my day today. I was supposed to originally film a um, like I said, it was gonna be a meal plan. I was supposed to high restrict today. I I ate that entire bag of chips. It was only three fifty calories. I've already burned off like half of them, so I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna film anything else today, to be honest, because I, I need to relax. Like that was a lot, but. One day, maybe I'll film, like, a meal plan, and not just on high restriction days, but also on on bad days, on, you know, normal intake days. I want to show what it's like to have an eating disorder because, at least for me, it's not consistent. I don't, I go through cycles of things. I have, I'll go through days of binging, and then I'll go through weeks of restricting, and then I'll go through days of fasting. Like, I'm not the type of eating just I'm not the person I'm not the type of person with eating disorder to have like a routine or like a um a set pattern so which only makes watching me even more fun <laughs> um but for the most part always that's what's on my mind is I really do want to recover and today was even more proof of the fact that I don't want to die because when I realized that I could have died and when I saw that bench like crushed like that like I was like, I don't want to die. I, I, there's so much I want to do. I, This is the French flag. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's my French flag. I speak French. One of my biggest dreams is to move to France. and see, I've never been. And I want to become fluent. I have so many goals in life. I love my friends and family. I, I don't want to die. So I want to get better from this. So even on my bad days, please just know that I'm just struggling with something that's awful. And I hope that... I don't disappoint you for, you know, showing the truth of this disorder. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Please drive safe out there because y'all drive safe. Um, don't forget to tell all your friends and family you love them and just have a good day. Bye, guys.